Breathe by Judith Kingston. In the big bed, nose to nose, she'd sleep, but I lay still awake and watched her face, felt her breath as she breathed out. The CO2 would hit me just as I breathed in. I'd gasp and turn, turn back, then try to time my breaths to alternate. Her, then me, then her, then me. The effort banished sleep, and I lay thinking in my parents' bed about sharing sleeping space for life. It must be, I mused, a struggle. Push and pull, a tug of war. Who gets the oxygen? Nose to nose forever. Who gets to breathe? And who gets to choke on second-hand air, one leg and shoulder chilled, the other half smothered under not enough stifling duvet? Some days, I am still there, still looking at her beautiful, familiar face, but also fighting for a thought, a move, a breath that is my own. Inhale, exhale, her, then me. Across vast distances and seas, still at times we share, tug at too little, leaving half of us cold and short of air.